We now move to Taidong, where the Zhihang Air Base held an open house to showcase its Brave Eagle jet trainers. Reporters were given a close-up look at the new trainer model and its advanced capabilities. There are four Brave Eagles stationed at the Taidong base and the first of 66 to be delivered by 2026. The Brave Eagle will replace Taiwan's aging fleet of 83s and F-5s to become the country's main trainer aircraft. The roar of jet engines pierces the sky as two of Taiwan's latest trainer aircraft, the Brave Eagle, make a public appearance. A trainer glides over the runway at low altitude before pulling up sharply and heading to the waters east of Taiwan for a training drill. Over the years, Taiwan's AT-3 and F-5E trainers have become increasingly obsolete, creating an urgent need for modern jet trainers. Enter the Brave Eagles, the first of which were delivered last year. Four are currently stationed at Taidong's Zhihang Air Base for training missions. The Brave Eagle will gradually replace Taiwan's aging trainer fleet. When asked to compare the old and new models, instructors agree that the new ones are better for training. There are lots of projections to cross-check and procedures to review. I usually average one to two inspections per flight, but on the Brave Eagle, I can run three to four. The Brave Eagle closely simulates the flight experience of the IDF, meeting the performance requirements of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground training. It has a lot of support features for dealing with landing distances. We'll follow the training procedures step by step to help our pilots in training master this aircraft to facilitate the upgrade of the fleet. The cockpit configuration of the Brave Eagle is roughly the same as that for the domestic IDF. Pilots trained on the Brave Eagle will be better able to navigate the domestic fighter. The Brave Eagle is also equipped with a digital flight control system, which allows precise gear control at the touch of a button. The Brave Eagle offers better handling, and it can support training that's more relevant to newer generation fighter jets. Not only that, 55% of its components are produced in Taiwan. So besides improving the quality of flight training, this aircraft is an important milestone in domestic defense manufacturing. Following the delivery of more Brave Eagles in the future, the aircraft is set to become Taiwan's main jet trainer.